this is what you don't see on social media when everyone's posting about a contest. We, we all love to compete, we all love to ride bikes and have fun with each other, but like sometimes it isn't all sunshine and rainbows as you think, so... So we're on top of the rolling for Copenride in Denmark, Copenhagen. Uh, we're literally just checking out the course for the first time. The course is absolutely amazing. It's huge. And I can't really believe that, like Luca said, they're building this up for us to ride for three days. That's just absurd if you think about it. Just the scaffolding and the, like, there's like a big operation to just make this happen. So uh, we have uh, a bit of checking left to do and then we're just gonna start riding. We got first practice today and we also got Sam Pilgrim back in the contest field, which is like yeah. the first time since when. I mean, well, they need someone to not qualify, don't they? <laughs> okay, cool. So, so they bring you so we can look good then. Exactly. Yeah. Should we check out the rest of the course and then hop on the bikes and do some practice? Because we got 7.30 a.m. practice in the morning. So horrible. For our 9.30 qualifying round tomorrow. Did you quickly mention that if, this, if you mess up this little island here, you're stuck forever? You need like a proper harness and stuff to even get down from the middle part. So if you screw up, and slip your feet or something in the middle, you have a like a... You get it? bullied, basically. So you will hard. get bullied by everyone, but you have like a 50 meter drop, or you need to like go down by a harness, but I would probably pick the drop if everyone is supposed to bully me for it. <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely massive. I think the last jump kicker down there is four and a half meters tall, and that's a human being right there, as you can see, and that's a jump. So uh, it's definitely one of the biggest jumps we've ever had on a course. Uh, we should check out the rest. So we're starting at the wrong end. Uh, we were looking at the start, but we're just gonna quickly check out the last jump. I'm just gonna give you guys a perspective. So that's the last jump, and I'm just gonna stand next to the landing. So that's literally stupid. So that's the roll in all the way down here. I don't even know how big the landing is. From the start, you're jumping in there. Then you have a step in, step down thingy and then a big step down all the way down here into the next jump. Big step down landing and then just fully cook into this jump. After you hit that jump you have a bit of like a right quarter pipe to bank thing, we'll check that out later. Huge roller, tiny dirt jump and then we have a no spunk step up feature straight after that. And then a quarter pipe fly out thing and then we're actually hopping onto a lift that takes you all the way up there and uh, you go up like a, I don't even know how tall this uh, tower is but that's the one that's gonna take you into the mega jump in the end so uh, it's definitely different it's definitely a bit of a unique course which is gonna be fun currently 1700 which is five in the afternoon uh, me and Sam and all the boys uh, there's only like three or four people that have actually ridden the whole course because it's so windy it's insane like it's so windy uh, but we've been playing around on that section for a while and uh, yeah it's now, hurricane alley now we're just gonna try this quarter pipe here which leads into that so we're slowly getting through yeah and look how soft the landing is there as well yeah it's it, all just a bit it's just been finished the course so it's quite yeah. like it's not yeah. ideal but oh Got an idea for you, Max. We both got to do first go 180 up and then just half cab back into that. Should we bet about it? If yeah, you, if, if you, you lose, you die, and if I lose, I don't die because I'm bigger than you. So if you don't make it, I get to punch you in the stomach. Okay, cool. You said yes. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah. Oh my. 
No way you did it. <laughs> okay, you'll see. <laughs> Really good. You don't have to die. I think we have a riders meeting now about the wind. About the wind and it's still it's almost six and there's still three people that have actually hit the course. And All right so it's 7 30 in the evening like most of the boys have still not hit the course. I think there's like six people that have done it but we're all heading up now. We need to try we got practice for half an hour and then we need to be at 7 30 in the morning to do one or two hours of practice to then ride qualifiers and we haven't even tried the course yet. I think this is the most, like the least amount of practice I've ever had for an event, but just have to wing it. Natalie, maybe we should do a riders meeting afterwards. We, we do it anyway. Before we go home, all yeah, yeah, we do their opinion. Alright, so it's 7.30 in the morning. Just woke up, feel absolute shit. Alarm went off at 5.30 or something, 5.45, 5.30. Um, yeah, it's not windy today. We're supposed to have qualifiers at 9.30 or 9, but it seems like there's some rain moving in. There's just constantly like tiny bit, bit of drops coming down now, but it's not affecting us at the moment. As slow star riders, we're definitely not used to be up at 7.30, riding the biggest jumps in the world and doing tricks. I mean, there's a difference between waking up and going to a job, but like this, this is just stupid. And uh, yeah, here you come. Yeah, it's a lot of sketchiness going down at the moment, but hopefully we can make it happen. Oh, oh my gosh. I just saved my, um, my life. You saved your life? <laughs> I was gonna do a trick now. <laughs> oh, it's 7 a.m. Yeah. Let's fucking ride. Get the nature. fuck out of here, man. Yeah, Mother Nature saved us all, boys. <laughs> so, it seems like the rain is coming in right now. Look at that. And the wind is picking up quickly. Right, so, we're in the weirdest situation ever, which is basically we've had to wake up early to move the whole event because it was going to be windy and rainy and now it is still windy and rainy so we all woke up for no reason and had like three hours sleep it's so horrible so we don't know what's going to happen now but the course is now wet yeah so classic con not really classic though this is like over the top crazy so do it No, everyone's chasing that now because of the yeah. wind. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Looks no good. Way. Wow. It looks well good. It's like my role in it. I'll show you. Okay, cool. <laughs> now we've got probably 40 minutes left of practice uh, yeah there's a lot of anger faces going around around the course I mean it's not ideal no one likes this at all to be honest like this is what you don't see on social media when everyone's posting about a contest there's so much shit that goes into our actual contest and not uh, that isn't really shown so that's why I'm making this video to just like we, we all love to compete, we all love to ride bikes and have fun with each other but like sometimes it isn't all sunshine and rainbows as you think so yeah but we're still here, we're trying and uh, trying to make the best out of it up 
the lift now. Uh, try the big jump two times. And then we got qualifying in 20 minutes. No. What do you think, Eric? I think we had way too less practice and it's getting windy again and I think most of the riders don't feel about doing it in 20 minutes, you know? No. We, we, we need at least one more day of practice. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought I could go straight in. <laughs> Whatever you want, dude. Stay as close. Well, it's not gonna be less windy, eh? Probably not. Well, it's, it's okay. Fuck okay. okay. it. Marks maybe something, eh? Oh, it's windy. <laughs> that was the second time. I forgot to say this, but that was my first run. Uh, Pilgi also and did it this. Was sick. Your run was so good. He got double whip up there clean, which in these conditions is probably no one else is going to do it. So you could stay up there in first for quite a while. You never know, it, the, the conditions are literally so insane. Hard. I was definitely stressing about the flip bar attack because I was like, haven't even flip barred it yet. Everyone is casing, so I just went as fast as I can and it worked. I'm just sitting in, in uh, yeah, first uh, now. I feel shit to say that because it's a shit contest, you know, but you did good. I was more happy about seeing your Thanks. run. Yeah, you... apart from crashing the easiest thing on course. Well, you've done flares since before I was born exactly. and you crashed on that. <laughs> It was the second you drop in though, it, you get a switch and you're like, go, and then you do everything. And standing on the start, 50 meters above ground in a hurricane windstorm. Yeah, isn't the best feeling. You're yeah. always like, uh, uh, I don't want to do this. You're going to do a second? Definitely. Definitely? I'm going to land cool. that flare. Okay. That's the only okay. reason I'm doing it. Okay, yeah. Since everyone is kind of feeling down at the moment, especially my friend Sam, because he's old and haven't done a contest in a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after all, we managed to do two runs, or I didn't do two runs, I did one run, which landed me in third place after all first runs, and then I just decided to pull out, because if you look, no, you can't see the wind, obviously not, but the wind has just been crazy here, it picked up a lot, uh, some people that had to do a second run did that, but the ones that are, weren't really necessary to do a second run, they didn't, so I just decided to not do my second run and wait for the finals. Dropped down to seventh place, and the seventh, seventh is good, I mean, it, I'm not happy with it but like I'm stoked because I that's a final place they took top 12 for the final so uh, right now they have a best trick jam I don't know like what we're gonna do we've been here since uh, 6 30 in the morning so we woke up super early but now we're supposed to ride again and it's like 6 in the evening so uh, yeah it's been a tough day it's a heavy day uh, we're all pretty tired and over it but we're, we are gonna try to do some riding uh, there's a big crowd here now so we are definitely gonna try to make them stoked uh, so as you can see behind me here there is a bunch of people that want to see us ride what are we doing here Nikolai? so we're about to put on a best trick show well, there's a countdown up there but it's gone um the wind is ripping but finally after years it feels like ages we have fans back at a contest that's proper actually, fans yeah, yeah in innsbruck we like didn't really have fans there was like rider support and people but this is like proper fans and we're back but we so always windy as hell but we're still shredding yeah. we're gonna try to make the best out of it it's not that a looks sick like not a huge one but like a strong one up there. Get it? 
So today is the day they're supposed to be finals and as you can see it's freaking pouring down in a storm here. I don't even know if you can see anything because the lens is completely wet. It's basically just a fat ass storm. But we're supposed to be here anyways because they have some sort of agenda that we're about to write later on tonight. But yeah, it's just gonna be completely wet and it's storm winds so we'll see what happens. But so yeah, I don't know, it's not gonna happen today, that's for sure. Finals is cancelled officially but they have some sort of idea of us uh, riding some sort of yam. I think that was it for Copenhagen 2021, I don't know.